Hello there and welcome to another Partners in Crime tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be learning how to use drivers to make some cool charts in Blender. So uh, let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is type numpad 7 on your keyboard to go into top view. And then type control and then numpad 0 to bring the camera into top view. Now you want to type X on your keyboard and click delete to delete the default cube. So uh, we're going to make the object that's basically going to be our graph. So we're going to type shift A on our keyboard and uh, let's click plane. And let's type tab to go into edit mode. Right click on this corner here, hold down shift and right click on this corner. Type X and click vertices to delete the vertices. So basically we deleted those top two points so that we only have these bottom two points here. And we did that because we're going to use a modifier to extend this upwards so it looks like a bar. So let's type tab to go back into object mode and go into the right of the screen here. Click that and click add modifier and select screw. Now we're going to change the axis to the y axis and uh, the angle to zero. Now this is the value we really want to look at. So let's pull out our screen here. And uh, if you click and just adjust that, you see we have a nice bar coming up. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use a driver to control the screw value here. So we're going to add an empty, type shift A, bring your cursor down here and select plane axis. And um, we're going to name the empty bar control. and type G and just left click and move it up there. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull out another screen here and go into the properties section let's see right here go into the object properties tab and let's look for custom properties and click add and let's name this property bar value and the default value of 0 and the maximum it can be is 100 because we're going to have it uh, max out at 100% once we add in our text so let's click OK so basically we're going to use this property to control the screw value of this uh, bar here and to do that, we're going to need to add a driver. So let's put that property value back to zero. And right click on this bar here. And um, let's put the screw value to zero. And let's click it. Right click on this here. Add driver. And we'll manually create layer. OK. So now what we want to do is we want to go back to this empty here and right click on this and click copy data path. Now we're going to go into the driver editor section. So let's split the screen again right here. Click this here and go into the graph editor. And if you change it from F curves to drivers and uh, let's see make sure we have the object with the driver selected which is plane here and pull that out there and left click on that now uh, go to the driver section and uh, we're going to um, we're going to paste the data path of our empty property here so basically if you select back on our empty again you'll see that we have this um, we have our property here and we're basically directing the driver to this property by copying the data path and changing this to single property and selecting our bar control and pasting the data path here by typing control and then V. Click that. And we just want to make sure that this over here is VAR. So that's for variable. So it just takes the default 
of what RMD its value is. So um, now we're going to save our bloom file so that we can have our auto run enabled. So let's click file, save as, and we'll do RAF project and click save as blender file and now we can click reload trusted invert and uh, you can right click on this property here and you can see if you adjust the value you get the bar to go up so um, currently let's put that to 100 and you can see the bar goes way way off the screen so what you want to do is right click back onto the bar and we want to go into edit mode here type A so that was tab to go into the edit mode and then I typed A and then just size that down make it really small so S up click S alright and uh type tab to go out of edit mode and you can type SY now and let's click that right here and pull this down a little bit and you can just do SY again and left click now if you want to make this bar wider or thinner you just go back tab back into edit mode and you can type SX and you can just make it as wide or thin as you like, but we'll leave it at default. So let's tab to go back into object mode. So now that we have our bar controlled by the um, empties property, we want to add some numbers that'll kind of, you know, come up with the uh, bar's percentage here. So let's make this bar right here touch this graph line right here. So let's type. Let's set this to 3D cursor and click so it sizes around there and SY and left click. Alright, so since that's looking pretty good, let's add our numbers. Now, for our numbers to be um, functional and then for them to animate the percentages, we're going to use a text add on called uh, Text Counter for Blender. It's by Leo Moon Studios. And uh, we'll put this link here in the description. So basically, you want to get the you want to get the the zip file by clicking clone or download and clicking download zip, and just uh, see which folder it's in on your computer. And it's in our downloads. So go to Blender, and uh, we want to go to User Preferences Add-ons. Click install from file and for the downloads folder and you want to select blender text counter and click install from file. And some add-ons need to be extracted before you can install them, so we're just gonna extract the zip folder here and we're gonna install through the pi file. And let's click install from file again. And let's see. Text counter. Let's see if that extracted properly. It's in downloads. Check here. Well, to all. Just gotta find the. Ah, it should be in this folder here. And build. Nope, source. Yeah. Blender text counter.py and install from file. Okay. So uh, now that we've got that done, we can finally get to animating our, our letters. So check this and click save user settings if you wanna make sure Blender keeps that installed. And uh, now let's set our text. So shift A and click text. Now go into the text object data tab, change the alignment to center. And we're going to open a font that we have stored on our computer that we'll include a download link for in the description.
and Droid Sans. Now we're going to check text counter here and you can see if we adjust the value of the numbers we get that animated. Now let's change the subject is the suffix to a percentage so that we get that percentage after the 30 there and let's put that back down to zero. We're going to add a driver to this too and we're just going to copy or paste the data path that we've already copied to this empty. So click right click on this counter property here. Add a driver and click manually create sync later and um Let's go back into the graph editor with the drivers and select the text counter section. So with that selected, you want to change it to single property here. Click this, pick our bar control, left click and control V to paste. Now we have the property being controlled by the empty here, so let's see if it works. So, we've got our counter here. The main thing you want to do to make sure that this functions properly is you want to keyframe it. So 100, you can make it go 100% on any frame. So let's A-B sync this. And let's view show seconds. So basically you can see how many seconds it'll take for your, um, for your percentage to increase and your bar to grow. So since we have both of those properties controlled by the same bar value here, let's jump to frame 38, hover your cursor over that and type I, jump to a previous frame, back to zero, hover your cursor over that and type I. And type Alt A to play this animation out. It's looking pretty good, but we're still not seeing our text animated, so right click back on our text. And you want to make sure you type VAR. And you can see we now have the property value here connected with our text. So if you right, go back to there and just Alt A, you can see we have the number going with the bar. And it's all looking good. So let me click something down here. Okay. So basically, what we're going to do now is we're going to make this OpenGL compatible or at least make it look better in the viewport and then we're just going to use it OpenGL to render it. So Shift A, Mad Mesh Plane, size it up, left click and GZ to move that back. Where did screencast keys go? Type in on your keyboard and I'm going to turn start display on so you guys can see what keys I'm typing down here. So we're going to go into the right of the screen here and in the material section we're going to add a new material and check shadeless and make it very dark and very blue. Now I'll type in and in the display settings I'll click on the X and the Y and that will just turn off the um, those lines you saw and uncheck grid floor so it doesn't display that. And we'll also uncheck relation lines and outline selected. We're going to delete this lamp here. So right click on that and X and click delete. And move our empty out of camera view so that it doesn't render. So right click on that G and left click over there. Click new to add a new material. Name it shadeless for the bar and you can make the bar any color you like. You can also increase the brightness of your colors in the viewport by um, adjusting the value, the hue saturation value here. We'll put it up to 1.5. You can also go into material view so you get a more accurate representation of how your color should look. And right click on the text here, add a new material, and change it to shadeless. So basically, we now have our editable colors for our separate objects. And uh, we've got that empty controlling the size of the bar and the percentage. So we're pretty much finished with this tutorial and if you're interested in more cool Blender stuff you can check out our YouTube channel and our website. 
going to be uploading a lot more often and releasing a lot more cool blunder stuff. So uh, stay tuned and uh, share this video if you found it helpful and leave a comment below if you have any tutorial suggestions. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more tutorials from partners and coordinated rendering of ideas, motion, and effects.